back to that story. A lot of folks have been asking about this story, uh, about, about the, the mysterious illness in dogs that has local vets reporting it to the Oregon Department of Agriculture. Yeah, Drew Marine back on the story again, and I know she spoke with a vet and a dog owner about what they're doing to keep their own pets safe. Yeah, Dove Lewis says they saw a spike in cases in the respiratory illness over the summer, but cases are dropping down again. The pet owner we spoke with says she's avoiding socializing her dog with those she doesn't know until veterinarians can learn more about what's causing this. I was like, oh no, <laughs> like what is this actually like legitimate? And I did a little bit more research and it turns out it was. Evita Garza first learned about the new respiratory illness in dogs on TikTok, but when she read more about it, she decided to start taking the proper precautions to keep her dog Nunu safe. I'm trying to keep her away from like, um, like places with a lot of dogs so like the dog park well she doesn't even like the dog park to begin with but like keeping her away from that like she's a, has a lot of hair so she has to get regular, regularly groomed so keeping her away from the groomers um had my sister shave her like she's not a professional but i had her shave her um a few days ago dr Kristen gooding is a veterinarian at dove lewis and says they saw a spike in these cases over the summer when they saw these symptoms well, the symptoms that we tend to see and we would like for owners to be aware of is really any dog that is experiencing coughing episodes uh, sneezing uh, ocular which is eye or nose discharge lethargy so they're not feeling their themselves they feel kind of punky and then really a big one is if they're having any respiratory difficulty, that would warrant an actually an emergency visit for sure. Thankfully, there's been a downward trend in cases recently, but she says they've been sending samples to the Oregon Department of Agriculture. The agency says symptoms of the virus are prolonged and patients were minimally responding to antibiotics, if at all. Dr. Gooding says there's no need for owners to panic, but it's important to stay vigilant and avoid things like communal water bowls. Sometimes try to avoid these kind of high population areas where there is like a lot of gathering of animals if there is an outbreak that has been known. So sometimes contacting your your groomer or your kennel or your doggy daycare prior to can be really helpful in just making sure that we maybe avoid those high risk areas um, only when there's really an outbreak. The Oregon Department of Agriculture says they're actively working with reporting veterinarians, specialists at OSU's College of Veterinary Medicine and the USDA to find the cause behind these cases. Live in Northwest Portland, Drew Marine, Fox 12, Oregon.